Final whistle has gone. Edel after that game, uh, four one. I was about to say, I was about Jeez. to say any other score, but it was, uh, it was, it was, it was. How many, What was the score? Four one. Four one. Sorry. Four, one. It was a mad end to that game, and I don't really know what happened. Yeah, so 4 1 for Liverpool was the final score. Two for Fab, one for Kate Gordon, and Bobby, Bobby Firmino, obviously yeah. the back heel. Uh, what was your favourite goal? I'm still sticking with Kate Gordon's. Yeah. I, I, I just think, in terms of what was on, what was at stake at that point, yeah. we had to get back into the game. Someone had to create, someone had to stand up and deliver for us and step up. Yeah. He did that. I still loved a little bit of movement that he had in the box in terms of his technical ability. Yeah. It, was, it was really smart of him to do. He opened up his body enough to find the corner. Yeah. He doesn't get it right in the corner, but he gets enough power on it to, to beat the keeper and the, yeah. the man on the line. And, and I think that kind of ignited the Liverpool squad that was out there today to say, right, let's kick on from here. Yeah. Um, so for me, it was the most important goal. And for that reason, I was really impressed by his performance 100%. today. Let me know in the comments what your favourite goal was on the night. Uh, four great ones to choose from, to be fair. Really, really good goals. I think I'm going to say it was Bobby's. Yes. Um, just, nice. just him coming on and being able to it was that goal that we needed it was 2-1 and they, Shrewsbury kept getting us on the break kept like making us a bit anxious and then Bobby just comes on and goes no really really good when he came on as well and then just back heels it really really just, just naughty. Bo naughty Bobby all yeah. over really isn't it but Kay Gordon's was similar to Bobby I can imagine Bobby talking that away in, in, in a similar fashion but really really comprehensive performance for Liverpool with some youngsters there on the day speaking of youngsters then who was your favourite on the day? Who, who stood out most? Overall, I think, you know, we, there was about five youngers that we said that were all like under 22 years of age where we just know that they're really... And I think Jones is showing, again, he's maturity, he's years ahead of, of himself for me mm -hmm. in that respect. And we know that he's been embedded within this Liverpool squad for such a long time. But I think we need to recognise and give credit to where, where it's due. I... In terms of the full 90, I'm going to go with Bradley as well. Yeah. Over the course of that full 90, I think he was absolutely amazing yeah. for us today. He was on point. Uh, there was moments in that first half where you, you thought they, they you know, obviously they, they, they targeted him and they went down that right channel and you thought, OK, if he gets a little bit more cover, mm -hmm. will he be OK? The second half, he didn't have any problems. Yeah. It didn't look like he was struggling whatsoever. He looked even better defensively in the second yeah. half than he did in the first half, which just shows he grew into the game. Yeah. But I think offensively, he was he was an outball and an option for us down that right-hand side where I didn't think we would be that expansive down that channel for me today. I thought it was going to be predominantly lopsided on that left-hand side. Yeah. That was my prediction, really, in terms of how we'd play. I thought he was absolutely amazing. Yeah, no, I I, I fully agree with that. Conor Bradley, by, 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 by a mile, I think, as mm. well, to be honest with you. Yes, defensively, he got caught out, but we spoke about that. I think it was the system. Yeah. And, and, and on that, actually, I think Klopp's working with these kids was fantastic. In-game management to make sure Brilliant. he cut it out. Brilliant. The second half was spot on. And, and, and especially recognising the fact that second half they really targeted Fab and yeah. cut him out the game so we just put Jones back in there and, and Klopp knows what these players can do and I, I really love that about the fact that yes these are kids but they have their own qualities he knows what they can do and he's like right I know I can trust Jones to do that yeah. I know I can trust Morton to do that Morton when he steps into the, into the defensive midfield role that yeah. we know he can do really well lets Fab go a bit further up and obviously he gets the second goal from that but Morton at the end just controlling the game we know he can do Run that it. and he's confident now to do that he's, been, he's done it in the Champions League yeah, Never mind in, in the FA, FA Cup, Cup third round. Yeah, yeah. Brilliant. And uh, the interchangeability of some of these young players as well was really impressive. Yeah. I think that's probably down to the systems that they play in the academies or the under 23s. But the fact that there was that fluidity between them all as the game gone on, especially yeah. after after Bobby's goal. Yeah. They just, they all just, I feel like they all went up a level instantly because they was confident now that they had control of the game. Yeah. Whereas you can almost see, not playing within themselves, but they're all always thinking everything needs to be perfect and it's becoming a little bit too forth to do. Whereas it just seems to flow. After yeah. Bobby's goal, everything just seemed to flow and click. Yeah. You know, they brought on the young lad that, that came on as well. I still can't pronounce his name. We're going Frauendorf. Yeah, Frauendorf. He, I thought he was quite a little cameo appearance. He really put a smile on my face yeah. because. We was we was almost concerned about the intensity towards the last fifteen. Mm -hmm. Is there any any reason for us to have that intensity? He came on, Bobby came on, the intensity came back, 100%. and straight away we we looked like a more threatening side again. Yeah, no, I I, I fully agree with that. I, I thought this is exactly what Liverpool needed to do, especially yeah. the youngsters, is is show that they can compete at this level, and they they, they did that and more. I think they yeah. really showed that they they have the wherewithal to be able to take the ball, pass it around. The first 15, 20 minutes of this game, we just controlled. I think there was a point where we had eighty three percent. 84% yeah, 300 and 
hundred something, three hundred and thirty odd passes to their sixty four exactly. or something like that. Which like is nearly ridiculous. half an hour's worth of footy. Yeah. And, it, and it shows just how comfortable and people are on the ball and them kids are on the ball and how well they know their relative positions yeah. even when they're told to come up to the to the first level and having missed one day of training because of the, all the COVID, uh, yes, COVID well. stuff really really good game from the yeah. kids today I'm, I'm, I'm made up with that performance I was worried that it was going to be either a bit drab I remember saying at the start it could have been a bit a slow and yeah. poor the quality of football really is really enjoyable. good yeah. the goals are really good and there's a lot to take away for each youngster there Waltman needs to bulk up Bradley Keep doing what you're doing. doing. Yeah. Morton, you're good in the defensive mid. Get get more comfortable around there. Kay Gordon, excellent. Just keep progressing and you'll be you'll be fantastic. Jones in there, brilliant. Just really, really So much to build from. Yeah, so much positive foundations from them all. And it it, it was impressive. I think gotta give a lot of credit to those young lads because I know defensively we had that one blip and they put the ball in. You've got to give Shoesby credit for that goal. That first goal, Brilliant. they they punished us really and, and give us a sucker punch that we wasn't expecting. The you know the senior experienced defenders weren't expecting the ball to come in that early. There was a, a breakdown in communication. Mm-hmm. Kearte can probably do a little bit better in terms of being switched on and on the ball and it, and it wasn't there. They punished us for that and fair, fair play to them. But after that, the defence stepped up and allowed those forward players to give them the foundations to go on. And that's all we asked really. Yeah. Give them lads the foundation and even in that I thought it was going to be a tight game because I didn't think we was going to create you know an abundance of chances and carve them open at will and you know just be, have too much for them but the reality was you know those young lads grafted for it yeah. they really did graft really. for it and there was they, they are a little bit lightweight and maybe that's why they didn't get a couple of the other shouts for penalties because of that but I still believe their Shrewsbury players went through our men to try and get contact with the ball yeah. so on another day potentially that, if that's Salah, it's a penalty. Yeah. If that's Bobby or Jota, it's going to be a penalty. You yeah. know what I mean? There could have been four, five, six goals in that You're game right. for us there. And I think that just goes to show the credit that we have to give these young players because they stepped up and they delivered. The one thing you asked was, you know, will you got be able to go out and perform today for us? And, you know, big atmosphere, you know, quite a lot at stake really for yeah, us. Yeah. You know what I mean? We want to get back on the momentum chain. They delivered. Yeah. 100%. Really, really good to see. I mean, let us know all your thoughts in, in the comments below. Obviously, we're going to be doing straight away the fan reaction, so we're going to be taking your thoughts. Edel's going to be sat right here doing doing, doing, doing that video, and he's going to be taking all your thoughts on that. Then, on the player ratings, where I'll be trying to pronounce Fraundorf again. Um, <laughs> getting better. you get getting better, definitely. I, I, I still don't even... I'm, I'm just running with it. I don't even know if, that, if it's spelled like that. Um, but, yeah, br- brilliantly good to see. And then, obviously... Over on the website later on, we've got an instant match reaction. Me and Ed will go in a bit more in-depth on that game before the final word live tomorrow morning for YouTube members. Uh, I think Wonder Kid and Higher and for uh, website members, you will get that live tomorrow morning at 10 a.m. as we watch back this last goal. The Bobby goal, sorry, the third goal. Oh, oh the little back heel. Colin Bradley just, does so well oh, to get on it. Does so well to get there because that ball looks like it's getting away from yeah. him every time it bounces. And he just clips it back into the danger the space. Best area and it's the defender well. that gets underneath it. Yeah. Into the path of Firmino. Excellent goal. Excellent goal. And Bobby That's does what, what Bobby does. He, he, One he, touch. He, roll. Doesn't even back heel it. He rolls look it into at the that back of the Smile. Net. I've missed his smile. No, look, Bobby does it again. Woo! Absolutely brilliant. Thank you everyone for watching today's video and for watching the watch along. Thank you to everyone who liked the video. Just you are all great. You already know that you are all great. We, we we thank you every time. But again, thank you all for watching. We will be back with the aforementioned post match shows. First one is with Edel very very shortly. So make sure you tune in for that and get your thoughts in either on Twitter yeah. or in the YouTube comments. He will grab them all. Thank you all for watching. Four one against Shrewsbury through to the FA Cup fourth round. We will find out who we're playing before Arsenal. See you all later. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to get your name here and here in the credits of all our YouTube videos, then become a Club Legend member on RevMen Plus. Get access to a full suite of incredible Liverpool content, pre-match, post-match, documentaries, features and interviews. And yes, Club Legends, get their names here and get loads of bonus features as well. Discounted merch, free merch, live show tickets and access to our Club Legend Discord chat, which we use in all of our shows. Get involved, the RevMenTV.com, RevMen Plus.